my name is Jabi, and I'm just gonna take this off. Hey, my name is Jabi, and welcome to this month's, or should I say last month's, fail box. And at the end of every month, I take a look at what you guys sent me to my P.O. Box 329 or California 90651. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at what you guys sent me for the month of May, maybe a little bit of June. Hence, you know, happy Pride Month, guys. And over here, I have this ever-growing stack of letters. We're gonna be taking a look at five of them. Randomly. How about this one? This one? This one? This one? And this one. This one comes from a... Timothy Hernandez. And Timothy comes from New York. <laughs> Very strange assortment of fan art. He's watching. Dear Jobby the Hong, I have been enjoying all of your videos since the beginning and I'm continue to look forward to them. Keep up the good work. P.S. Sorry for the half-baked drawing. Thank you very much, Timothy. Although I wouldn't go so far as to call these drawings half-baked. More like... It's wrong! For the next one, we have one that doesn't have a name, except it just says child's drawing. This ought to be good. Hey! For a child's drawing, this doesn't look too bad, I gotta say. It, it might be the colors that are just popping out at me, but good on you, kid. Of course, this is Omnimon from Digimon, or Omegamon, if you're wrong. And the name here says Jaden2017. Okay, thank you very much, Jaden2017, huh? Uh, from the pace that I'm reading the letters, we might have 2018 letters in the year 2020. This little brown one comes from a Mr. Dink, and Mr. Dink is from Arizona. Is that Doug character? <laughs> What? We got a funny guy here, maybe one of those uh, in-character letters for a character I don't don't care about. It's me, Mr. Dink. Have you heard about the greatest album ever composed by a human being who is a wrestler called Hulk Rules? It's right up there with now that's what I call Shrek. I'm I'm just not gonna pause the video now if you want to read that for yourself. This one comes from a mm, I really have no idea. From Canada. Hello, Jobby the Bong. My name is. <laughs> That's how I vocally represent a scribble. But you can just call me Grim. I would like to know if you have the Make Toys Thunder Manus or Masterpiece Nemesis Prime. I actually reviewed Thunder Manus. If so, I won't buy them. If not, then just pray for my wallet. This is my way of supporting you. Thank you for being hilarious. And thank you, Grim, for even considering spending this amount on my channel. And the last letter before we get into the bigger envelopes. No name, but they're from Maryland. Oh, would you look at that? We got a few tiny little things and they're all covered with drawings. We got a drawing of the anime girl version of my logo. Of course, the original one being by Raptopace. We have Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club going full gremlin. Review more gremlin. <laughs> got a little version of me holding the Masterpiece of Megatron. And finally, we have what I assume is that thick Oni girl from that one manga that's about elves working out. I drew her like once a long time ago and I just, I, I really like her design. And at the back of Olga-san here we have a letter. Hey Jobby, I haven't got that much art motivation as a bitch from someone who hasn't posted consistent content since last year. I can relate to you. P.S. Draw more Oni Grill. P.P.S. If you decide for whatever reason to plug me, I'm at Soviet-Rocket. Rocket what? That's a Tumblr right there. If you can read it, go check it out. This person seems like a fantastic artist. And now, off to our bigger envelopes. This one is from Rocha. I recognize that name. And they're from Arizona. Furry for Judy. Very funny, but that's outdated now. Get with the program. <laughs> Oi. Thanks. All right, we have two pieces of fan art here and a letter. All right, since I don't want to spend too much on reading out letters, I should start reading these off screen. So I'll be back in a second. Thank you so much, Rocha, also known as Rochasaurus Rex. You did send me some artwork during Failbox 6, and I remember praising you, and I'm glad that I could bring you some people to notice your work. And to bring even more people to you, you have a Tumblr, Rochasaurus slash Rex, and Rochasaurus slash Draws. Rochasaurus Rex saw one word on Twitter, and it says, Here, by the way, I also noticed we are both mutual pals of Dicker T. Give him a little tickle on the dingus for me. I actually don't know him personally, but I do love his work. I loved them even before he followed me on Twitter. His animations are hilarious. If you don't know who Dicker T is, is go check him out i suppose you can call that shout out the little tickle on the dingus all right let's take a look at what rocha gave us damn i suppose this is godzilla 2014 with a t-rex for scale and a really nice picture shin godzilla i love that sketchy style that's fantastic thank you so much next one is from a thomas lynch they're from new jersey quite a bit of printouts here oh it's a comic definitely not gonna read out the whole comic on screen but if you want to take a look uh there it is this is quite the sizable thing obviously not a big boy but i do appreciate it we got a sketch of what looks like gypsy danger from pacific rim 2 which i still haven't watched um actually it's gypsy avenger i'm sorry i literally forgot when i said that <laughs> and we have a letter <laughs> thank you very much thomas lynch aka tl lucario aka tl god aka 
a t l warrior. <laughs> and this is supposed to be issue one of a series with his OC and me meeting up. <laughs> That's not weird. Instagram at TL Lucario1234, DeviantArt T Lynch34, Twitter at Thomas L964, and you have some questions. Number one, have you heard of Mazinger Z? I have, never watched it though, but I do like the design. Number two, what is your three favorite mecha anime? Good question. Uh, Gundam Thunderbolt. Gundam Thunderbolt was the first one that came to mind. What's another, what's another good mecha anime? Uh, uh... I don't want to say Ava just because I can't think of one right now. Gurren Lagan, that's a good one. Evangelion, fuck it. <laughs> Question number three, what are your three anime waifus? This is probably the hardest set of questions I've ever been asked. Just three? Number four, who was the blonde pigtail anime girl you mentioned a lot, who which you found through looking for memes? I know exactly who you're talking about, um, because your writing indicates that you are not quite a big boy. I am really not going to tell you, but if you really wanted to know, check the comments down below. I'm sure they'll give you a helping hand with that. And you say here, and may your aura protect you and your family, which apparently is your catchphrase. Anything's better than swivel here. Next one, we have a Sydney Andrew, and they're from Utah. Before I go and show you this really nice artwork, let me read this letter real quick. Thank you so much, Sydney Andrew. Yes, I do recognize your art style because I gave it one of these, and I found it so good that I had to ask for social media, and you do have a social media. It's at Disner1 on Twitter. Anyway, we have a Dorothy from the Big O, and that pretty much answers your question, right? We have Grimace with the Infinity Gauntlet. We also have a sketch page of Marvel characters. That is great. Mantis is looking kawaii. And finally, we have a beautiful rendition of Hamura Nemesis Prime Shin Godzilla. Thank you so much, Sydney. Really like your artwork. This one is not even mine, I think I accidentally took a letter from my dad's uh, letter pile. What's not? This one is from a mischievous echo from Japan. What the fuck? That actually spooked me a little bit. What is this? <laughs> And it seems like we have quite the stack here. Seems like one of those horror artists. Okay, before we get into the thick of it, let's uh, check out this letter. Reading powers activate. Okay, thank you so much, Mischievous Echo, who is apparently a big boy. No age given, but I'm just gonna take your word for it. And you say that this is supposed to be a Madoka. All I see is pure fear. But to be fair, the show was pure fear on some level. And this is your words. Your kawaii Japanese friend went over it with her calligraphy skills. That actually looks good. I wonder what it says. Your friend's Instagram is at k.s.27 and your Instagram is at mischievous echo. And you've also included some stickers here. You hope to see some Sailor Moon reviews in the future. Eventually I'll get to it. These are all Sailor Moon characters. Just if they were drawn by J uh, Junji Ito. Ray. It's like they get worse. Okay, that one's not that bad. And by worse, I don't mean in quality, I mean just by the, the sheer horror. And this is a coloring book. Your line work is actually really top quality, and a lot of creativity, a lot of craftsmanship in these drawings. Really admiring your stuff as I go along through this book. Is that Nosferatu? That's great. Thank you so much, Mischievous Echo. This one's from a Joseph HK from Hong Kong. <sighs> Spider-Man. Don't know what this logo means. Spider-Man here on the back. It says two job in Hong. And what do we got? Some more Gundam. I don't think that this is a model kit because it feels way too solid. It feels more like a robot Damashi, but I've never seen a robot Damashi figure like this. And we have tiny little SD Red Zaku and an SD Banshee Norn from Gundam Unicorn. Big ass bazooka for the Zaku, I assume. Or it could be for this. That's probably for this. And it looks like I missed out on this card. Sela definitely goes in my waifu list. Next up, we got a Raz Armstrong and they're from Michigan. Hey! There's like a little clay representation of my logo and... Oh, come on. There we go. It stands up. Okay, thank you very much, Kaz Armstrong. I misread your name there. They have a Tumblr, uh, pervyworld.tumblr.com. And I don't know what you're talking about. The painting and sculpting on this thing is awesome. And uh, how thoughtful of you. You included a complimentary pack of lube. Now we're getting into it. This one is from Mr. Mismatch. I recognize you. And he's from New York. God damn, we got a lot of papers here. Please tell me this is legit. That is awesome. Oh, fuck yeah, it's legit. DC Animated Universe, one of the best things to come out of DC. The DCEU was a mistake. What? Kill a kill on DVD? You kidding me? That's great. Although I'm not gonna lie. It looks, uh, it looks fake. But who knows? Maybe it works. You get this from Chinatown? And we have... 
Bye. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Mismatch. You have some questions, uh, quite a list of questions, so let's go through them. Number one, what are your top five favorite, least favorite figures you reviewed? I can't really think of uh, top five at the top of my head right now, but one of them definitely has to be the boat forms, Gladius. Fuck that figure. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't really think of anything right now because most of the figures I review, I like them. Number two, what is the name of the lolly porn anime? I think the real question would be, which, which one? one? I know which one you're talking about. Number three, what kind of music do you like? I'll answer your question with another question. You like jazz? Yes, I really do enjoy jazz, although I do enjoy some hip hop and rock and it, it's all over the place. Number four, do you realize kids watch you because of your use of memes? Yeah, I do. There really is no getting around it. Uh, but as I've said many times in the past, I have no control over what kids watch these days. So I'm just going to keep doing what I do that I feel makes good content. If that means upsetting a few parents or is it my fault? It's kind of an interesting discussion. Number five, who do you live with? Just parents or more? The Failbox video that I got my silver play button, I did a uh, dad reveal. So yes, I do live with my dad. And for the sake of privacy, that's all I'll say. Number six, if you grew up in Thailand, how did you learn English? I did not grow up in Thailand. I barely can speak any Thai, although I can understand uh, quite a bit of it. I was born in Long Beach, grew up in Linwood, and I live in undisclosed location. Number seven, who are your favorite porn stars? Do animated ones count? Number eight, which Batman movie is your favorite? Well, one of my favorite Batman movies, uh, Return of the Joker. The Dark Knight is also really good, but it didn't quite grip me as much as it did other people, so I wouldn't say that it's my favorite. And of course, BBS. <laughs> Number nine, how do you feel about pit bulls? Cute, just like any other dog. Number 10, who is your best girl in DDLC? I fell face first for Yuri, same here. Number 11, are you ever going to do another giveaway? Maybe. Number 12, did you see a fox in the stable? No. Number 13, did you ever hear of Zonk Punch? No. Number 14, how shitty do you think my drawings are? Uh, we'll figure that out soon enough. Number 15, is your ex available? No, actually, she got a new boyfriend uh, almost immediately after breaking up with me, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? <laughs> all right, so let's go through all this. Relatable. That's great. I especially love that. <laughs> Bebe from Monica Rebellion. Very cute. My favorite color is blood. Better jobby. What, what does that mean? Is that a logo for another toy review channel that I'm not aware of? In any case, you're probably right. H2O Delirious. The better mismatch. I don't get it. That's adorable. Don't lie, everybody. You guys recognize that character, right? I... I do. That's cute. Looks like Yuri and Harley Quinn. Homber Hawaii. I don't get it. Wow. I did my best. And finally, Susie in a buddy suit from Little Witch Academia. Also gonna be on my waifu list. Thank you very much, Mr. the Mismatch. As much as I wasn't amused by your last package, uh, this one was very nice and I hope to see you in another video if you would like to. And the final envelope of the day, Ion Garcia. And inside this envelope, we have another envelope and aside this envelope i was half expecting another envelope some really nice photographs of what looks like uh model kits psycho zaku full armor gundam from gundam thunderbolt you're talking my language now gundam unicorn nobel gundam a really spicy looking zaku and finally it looks like a chart of uh, all the mobile suits that appear in mobile suit gundam the origin and a plan of the rx and now i realize that this is a poster that is awesome <laughs> there's a letter Thank you so much, Ion, as in Ion Cannon. 22 years old. Damn. He's a graduate of photography, which explains the high quality of these images. And he does commissions, which I assume you can reach him at Instagram, at Ion Really Get It. P.S. I try to DM you some Gunpla pictures on Instagram. I gotta admit, recently I haven't been checking my DMs on Instagram and Facebook. It's just, sometimes it just gets overwhelming. Twitter is the best way to reach me. Confirming that now. P.S.S. Say this on camera. I showed you my Thunderbolt sector. Please respond. Goddamn, this letter was from April. Glad to be reading it now, Ion. Eon. Thank you for everything. And that was a great way to conclude the envelope portion of the video. Now, this one comes from a road breach and they are from Virginia. Woo, looks like a Grimlock figure that I'm not aware of. I suppose we'll find out through the letter. Okay, thank you very much, Road Breach. You do have some questions for me. So number one, why do you keep outtakes in your videos? Cause I think it's funny when I fuck up. Number two, why is this? scary but not this i'm not sure what the first this is but freddy fazbear not scary at all come on number three why did you have to make the judy hobbs video creepy because i had a legitimate attraction to a cartoon character that i found very disgusting so i had to make fun of myself through that video honest answer p.s there's a five nights at freddy's movie coming out and you can't stop it 
Oh, so, so you're one of those guys, huh? Also, oh, you have a DeviantArt, but no link to your DeviantArt. I suppose it's Road Breach. Road Breach on DeviantArt. The Great Pitiful. I remember that name. A Zagok. Review my gunplay. Is it? There's no letter here, but it is addressed to Jobby the Schlong. Just in case, let's check the merch. Yeah. Oh, this looks like a simple build. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should do it, right? I this one is from a Stotlar, and they're from Illinois. There's a face full of foam there. Ooh, what in the hell? This appears to be a Voyager class Age of Extinction Optimus Prime, but custom painted, maybe. Unless it's one of those uh, Takara releases that I wasn't aware of about. And we have what looks to be, oh, a masterpiece something. I forget the, the figure's name. Got some side mirrors for that figure. And a gun for the Optimus Prime. Do we have a letter? Yes, we do. Okay, thank you so much, Jonah. So apparently you're the one who gave me the Totoro plush way back when. So I was half right. This is actually the Japanese repaint of an existing figure that I've already reviewed, by the way, long time ago. Looks very good. And this is the masterpiece Road Rage. And I know you say to read this part off camera, but come on, I'm just gonna do it right now. Happy late birthday to your girlfriend. Your girlfriend's birthday was on May 3rd, so. And here's a picture someone drew of you and your girlfriend, which is adorable. I wish you wealth, health, Happiness? All that good stuff that comes from a relationship, I wouldn't know. The next one comes from... Uh, there doesn't seem to be a name here, but according to this label here, this box contained Hama beads, letters, and drawings. Let's see what that's all about. Fortune cookies that seem to be completely disintegrated. Some kind of chocolate bar. Hama beads, we'll take a look at that after we empty this box. Ah, from the UK. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, apparently this one is from three brothers, uh, Robert, Riker, and Heath. All of them big boys, uh, 29, 21, 19 respectively. And they've included some artwork here, which I will take a look at. Their deviant art names are The Cloud 96, Moon Stories 101, and Tyrannosaurus Hood 88. And we have I don't get it. We'll take a look at these before we get into these list of questions that they have for me. So we have this. Pause it if you want to get a good look at that on the back. And we have this. That's adorable. I believe that's uh, Swivel Man and Spider Man as uh, ponies. Remember those? And on the back here, we have another one with uh, me as a pony and Madoka Godzilla Prime. And oh my god, is a 1955 because I thought this meme had died a long time ago. Well drawn. I'll give you that. But what can I say? that hasn't been said on the back all right question time have you ever played tf2 or battleborn no uh none of those uh, although i do really like the tf2 character designs they're they're great ever heard of over the garden wall on yt i think it aired on cartoon network i've heard of it but i haven't watched it it's supposed to be really uh charming and dark might check it out one of these days have you ever thought of making a discord server i actually do have one i just made one to experiment with it but i it's, it's not active at all there's not really a question it's just a declaration of a statement it says here we are all bronies all three of us i'm so sorry for your condition <laughs> who is your favorite my little pony Applejack best girl. Also, have you ever watched the UK dubs of Devilman 1 and 2 and 3? Uh, 3 by 3 Eyes and Legend of the Four Kings? No, it doesn't ring a bell. Okay, silly question to ask. My brother Heath wanted to know how tall you are. Yeah, around 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, and what do you think of the new Venom trailer? It looks okay. I'm sure Tom Hardy will be good at it, but I'm still disappointed by the lack of Spider-Man. They're trying their damn best to justify that character without a fundamental part of that character. Kind of stupid, but hey, that's expected of Sony executives. And finally, we'll take a look at these Hama beads. Whoa, that looks like it says something, but I'm not, I'm not quite. Oh, that's cool. Well, bam, that's great. Oh man, guys, thank you so much for this. Uh, keep doing what you do. Keep on watching My Little Pony. Don't let me or anyone tell you otherwise. And thank you for the Hamas beads. Uh, hey. A titanium war within Optimus Prime and a Transformers movie hubcap. Wow, these are some like classic figures. The Transformers Universe Dinobot. Wow, I remember that from way back when I never got it. And oh, -ho -ho! I see who this is. It's my boy, Captain Anaugi. Dear Jobby, good shit. My friend showed me your videos about a year ago and I binged so like. Good shit, bro. Thank you so much. And there's this cutie pie of an OC, Penny. And I saw a post that you made recently. You uh, you actually encouraged Rule 34 of your character, right? Uh, it's probably coming, baby. 
<laughs> and as per my request, Captain Anagi drew a picture for me. A Nobel Gundam colored up in the style of his original character. That, oh god, it's so good. If you don't know who Captain Anagi is, please check him out. Tumblr, Twitter, that's all I know. He's a great artist, not a furry, I swear. And just like that, we are at the final three packages. This one is from... Jonathan... Doherty. And they're from Washington. Let's hope that this uh, didn't break or anything because this box has been flipped around several times. Holy crap. Oh, shit, that's a heavy thing. Sweet mother of Primus. Or should I say, Primus himself. This is Primus from uh, Transformers Cybertron, which had that, you know, funky theme song that I did an amazing dance to. And for those of you who don't know who Primus is, he's basically God in the Transformers universe. And in this bag, we have a lot of Cyber Planet keys, mostly from the Beast Planet, if I'm remembering that correctly. We have what looks to be a non-transformable but poseable sideswipe figure. This has got to be an accessory for Primus that you can stick these uh, Cyber Planet keys into like so and that just goes and finally we've got a revenge of the fallen sound wave. oh man this is so great it just makes me think of all the toys that i wanted growing up but could never afford or you know couldn't get my mom to buy for me and now i'm getting them now and it's just it feels like my life is c just coming up full circle yeah. You get it. Thank you so much, man. Ah, another Jonathan Doherty package. This might have been the first one that I should have opened. This one probably contains a letter. Of course, because you got me, God. You just had to give me... Ah. The Daewoo. I've actually never seen this figure in person before, and it is way bigger than I expected it to be. Of course, this is a Unicron. Letter, as I suspected. And what do we got? Oh, original leader class Megatron from the uh, original movie. Okay, what do we got? Thank you so much, Jonathan. I can agree with your last sentence here. Big boys deserve big toy. Thank you so much. I'll do my best to keep God safe. And we come to our final box. Our final package of the day comes from a Thomas Kruger. And Thomas is from Ohio. <laughs> you can't even see me opening it. Okay, got a letter. I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. You got a Ziploc bag. That's Optimus Prime. Holy crap. That's why this shit is big because let me get this box out of the way and I'll show you guys. I think this is a leader class Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime. And to go along with that, we have a leader class Jetfire. It's gigantic. And even though I didn't enjoy Revenge of the Fallen as a movie, I could say that I hated it. I gotta admit, when these guys combine, pretty cool. Instructions for both of them. Jetfire's walking stick, missile launcher, and how very generous. Four batteries. Let's see what the letter says. Okay, quite the long letter. I will be right back. Thank you very much, Kruger. That was a very nice, very heartwarming letter. And I don't know why you guys get the idea that I hate heartwarming letters. I actually really like heartwarming letters. The only problem is that uh, reading them on camera takes a while but I, I really do i like nice words isn't that obvious <laughs> big toys for big boys is is that gonna be a new thing <laughs> so as i mentioned many times before i will get to these eventually this will probably be a two-parter and as i've also said many times before thank you so much for sending in all of your packages for this month's fail box it's been a fun time and again if you'd like to be part of the fail box next month or this month go ahead and send anything you'd like to p.o box 329 or california 90651 and i think this is a perfect time to thank all of you guys on patreon i don't get to do it that often and i'm sorry for that but i highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me there keeping up the monthly cost of the p.o box wouldn't be possible without you guys on patreon so thank you so much for that especially because youtube keeps shooting itself in the foot and i'll see you next time hopefully more uh, frequently moving forward to quote one of my recent social media posts june is actually my birth month i hope it's my content month as well Next time, two months after the figure's release, let's kick it, let's kick it up.